welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix crashing problems, graphics issues, and 100% CPU usage, and also dev errors like 5761 and 6068 in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. These errors can be extremely annoying because all you want to do is just play the game. While with a bit of luck, the methods I show you in this video will hopefully resolve your problems. The first thing you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of Windows and type in update. You now need to click on check for updates and you need to make sure you have the latest version of Windows 10 installed and that's also including all the updates. Just basically make sure your operating system is fully up to date. That also does include any other operating systems you may be using, like Windows 7, Windows 8, I'm not sure what you're using, but just make sure it's all up to date. If that has not worked and Call of Duty is still coming up with problems, then the next thing to do is make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. If you have an Intel graphics card, if you have an Nvidia graphics card, AMD, go to the manufacturer website of your graphics card. I will put links in the description below and also links to how to install those drivers for your graphics card below. Make sure your graphics card drivers are fully up to date. If that has not resolved your problem, then the next thing to do is make sure you are using a administrator account. If you're using a standard user, then you may encounter some problems when trying to play Modern Warfare. But if you are running as a administrator, then with a bit of luck, that will bypass any errors that you are coming up with. Also, right click on your Modern Warfare shortcut and then go to open file location. And you now need to right click on the Modern Warfare Launcher.exe and go to properties. This is the location of where Modern Warfare is installed on your computer. If you don't have a shortcut on your desktop, then you can always search for Call of Duty in your start menu, or you can just go to the location where you install Call of Duty. Once you are on the shortcut properties, you now need to go to compatibility and you need to tick the run this program as a administrator and press apply. You can now go ahead after you have done run as an administrator to see if Modern Warfare is working. Also actually before you do that you do need to do it on the modernwarfare.exe below as well. Just simply right click, go to properties, compatibility and then just tick the run this program as an administrator and apply. So like I just said, now try and launch Call of Duty and see if it's working. If it's still not working, then the next thing to do is click on both of these .exes again and go to properties and go to compatibility and change the compatibility mode. If you tick this little checkbox here, you have a massive list of options. Try selecting Windows 7 and pressing apply. Do this on both the .exes. For example, I'm just going to go Windows 7, apply and OK. And I'm going to do the same on the launcher press run and let's go Windows 7 apply and OK and now try and launch Modern Warfare and see if it works. If it doesn't work on that option then try the other option Windows 8. If Call of Duty still isn't working for you then the next thing to do is make sure your antivirus program is disabled. This is only for testing purposes. You just want to make sure your security isn't affecting the game. A lot of antiviruses you can just pause for 10 or 20 minutes. For example on Kaspersky that I am using all I need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner of my screen and right click on it and then I can click on pause protection. I can then choose how long I want to pause it for. I can then go ahead and press pause protection and press continue and now my antivirus is 
paused. And once you have paused your antivirus, try and boot up Call of Duty Modern Warfare and see if it works now. If it does work, then you know there is an issue with your antivirus program blocking the game and you may have to add it to a whitelist. If you are still having issues with Call of Duty not working, then the next thing to do is also make sure it's been accepted through the firewall. To do this, all we need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in firewall. And you now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. And we need to click on Allow an app or feature free Windows Defender. And you need to just scroll all the way down until you find Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Once you have found Call of Duty Modern Warfare, just make sure that the two boxes are ticked under private and you can always tick the two for public as well. You do need to click on change settings at the top to be able to change these options. I'll just do that now quickly so you can see it. As you can see, the two ticks are there for private. Like I said, you can tick public if you want and test to see if that makes a difference. Once you are happy, you can go ahead and press OK. If the game isn't in the list, then all you need to do is click on Allow Another App. You will then be able to search for the game by simply pressing Browse and then just select the .exe. Once you have done all that, then you can now go ahead and try and boot up Call of Duty Modern Warfare again to see if it works. If that doesn't work, then don't worry because there's still a few more things we can try. And the next thing is to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in msconfig. And you need to open up system configuration. We now need to select the normal startup option. And you need to press apply. Just keep in mind that changing this to normal will basically disable any other services or programs that boot up with Windows. For example, if I had CCleaner or TeamSpeak and they normally boot up my computer, they will not boot up under normal startup. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and press apply. And we now need to restart our computer and see if Call of Duty works. If that doesn't work, then the only other thing we can try and do is boot up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And once you have booted up the program, you need to minimize to your Windows desktop. For example, I have just opened up Call of Duty and I've now minimized my Windows desktop. You then need to right click in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and click on to Task Manager. You can also bring this up by going Control Alt Delete and then select Task Manager. And you then need to find the Call of Duty game in the list. It will come under Apps. And once you have found it, for example, I'm going to use Windows Explorer. You then need to right click on it and then you need to click on Go to Details. And you then need to right click again onto Call of Duty and then click on Set Priority and you need to click on Normal. Because Call of Duty has got an issue at the moment where it's setting the priority to high, which is also causing crashing issues. It's not doing it on everyone's computer, but some computers, which it might be yours, that's why you're watching this video, it may be set high and it needs to be set to normal. If your graphics card is overclocked, there has also been reports that an overclocked graphics card can cause you issues in Call of Duty as well. Which means if you can easily remove your overclocked settings on your graphics card, then it may be worth a go. Unless you can be bothered to wait until there's a new update on Call of Duty that will hopefully fix the overclocking issues. After doing all of those methods, if Call of Duty still isn't working, then the next thing is to open up Battle.net. Once you have Battle.net open, you now need to click onto Call of Duty and you then need to click onto Options. We now need to click on Scan and Repair and you need to press Begin Scan. And basically what this is going to do is scan Call of Duty to check there are no corrupted files or anything missing that shouldn't be. Once the scan has finished, it will then try and repair the installation of the game if it does find any problems. 
If it didn't find any problems, then the next thing I would advise is to simply click on options again and press check for updates, just to make sure your game is fully up to date. And as you can see, mine is. If Call of Duty still isn't working after doing all of that, then unfortunately the only thing left to do is uninstall the game. To do this, all you need to do is click on options and you can press uninstall game. I know this is very, very frustrating, but unfortunately that is the last thing you can do. Uninstall the game and then try and install it again. And with a bit of luck, that will work. If it still doesn't work after that, then there is probably an issue with your Windows, which means either you need to do a reinstall of Windows, or you need to try and figure out what in Windows 10 or whatever operating system you're using is causing your issue. If you have found a way to fix Call of Duty that I have not mentioned in this video, then please comment below and help everyone else out. Also, just remember all the methods that I show you in this video to undo them, just do what we did in the video, but backwards. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.